It was another bitter cold and blustery day near paradise in the Upper Peninsula, conditions that became all too familiar to these ice fishermen this past winter. Man, it's just slowed right down, hasn't it? Yeah, we haven't done it in a while. But just when they thought it was too cold for even the fish to bite, they made an unbelievable catch. It's just enough, it's so strange, so unusual, you know. Take a look at this home video. Oh, I got it. Got it. Keep coming up. Need a gap? Nope, nope. Coming up. Taking a little line. Taking a little. Oh, here he comes. Holy! Hey, what My golly, that? what is it? What? What the heck is it? You ever seen anything like that, Brian? No. Uh -huh. Holy! Oh, Holy it looks like a trout. It's got trout fins on it. That's he's strange. Got, he's got fur. It's supposed to be so cold down there that he's grown fur. I'm telling you. That fur on him, that's for sure. A trout with fur. Seems hard to believe, but an expert with the foundation of Odd Lake Species says that's exactly what it is. Well, I, I wrote the name down because it's so unusual. There's two types, and uh, I don't know if you get a close-up, of, but this is an Aquatrautosaurus first. And um, it's, it's, it's very, very rare, yeah. This fur-covered fish is more simply known as a frout. They have really sharp teeth, too. You should watch it there. It's certainly something these northern Michigan fishermen have never pulled up on their hooks. I've lived here all my life. You know, and I, I've fished all my life. I've been fishing since I was old enough to hold a rod and never seen nothing like it. Oh, yeah, that's one. That definitely, yeah, definitely. But the fur is a little darker than we normally see. But it shouldn't be down here. This is too far south. Normally, they don't get below... Alaska. Right now, the only explanation for the startling discovery is the weather. Well, I, I think the world's getting colder. I, I think we, this is the worst winter we've had in a long time, most snow we've had. But that's just one theory. The men who actually pulled the frout out of the water say they don't believe that's the reason, and neither should you. It's a little ridiculous, but uh, um, I think it's a good thing. It's a, kind of like a April Fool's thing. April Fool's. That only happens on the 1st of April on April Fool's Day. Is that good enough or yep. should we do it again?